so welcome to this channel hi my classes today i am creating this video as per my viewer uh, request that how we can uh, pass a data structure as a pointer to a particular program so i have created a uh, few examples here uh, that will let you know how we can pass a data structure as a pointer to a particular program which is uh, act as an input parameter to the program so i have created these uh, two examples only here so there may be some more examples or some more ways to do this but what i have prepared i'll show you how we can do this so we can first we will see this program ptr ds region 2 and this um, we have taken a pointer as an input which is input ptr here you can see here this is the prototype and this is the procedure interface so we'll take input as a pointer okay and now we have again declared a ptr1 here which is a pointer variable and we have based this pointer on this string ptr1 uh, data section not a string ptr1 data which is a ds having two sub fields string 1 and string 2 of uh, length 10 and 5 characters so this ds is based on this ptr1 here and we are taking input in this input ptr as a pointer we have taken another uh, variable prepare string uh, which will be using in some logic here in so we are getting this address here input P in input ptr so we will be directly pa passing it to ptr1 now ptr1 uh, will be having the address stored um, which is passed as an input parameter to this program now since ptr1 is based on this string so we will have data in this data structure so we have concatenated these two strings by trimming them string 1 and string 2 and then um, finally evaluating it into prepare string and then displaying these string 1 and string 2 and prepare string in the program so this is a basic example that how we can pass a pointer and that pointer will uh, let you know how we can uh, will be basing on will be passing that pointer variable to another pointer which is basing on a data structure actually so this is the main program now i'll be calling this program using this call calling pgm2 so you can see that we have defined a prototype here procedure prototype here ptrds pgm2 which is calling this ptrds pgm2 program that we have created we have de declared the prototype here same as defined in ptrds pgm2 just taking input as a pointer now we have declared another uh, pointer variable here which is at page on ptr1 data that is a ds again we have uh, again we have uh, declared a one more ds ds1 with sub fields str1 str2 same as ptr1 data now what we are doing we are first uh, evaluating str1 and str2 which is base uh, which is the sub fields of this ds1 now since these two fields are evaluated we are passing the address of ds1 to the ptr1 this one and ptr1 data is ds which is based on this pointer variable so ptr1 data will be having now oh now we will be having the data again we are calling this ptr ds pgm2 and we are passing ptr1 that is address here so i'll show you i have created uh, one module for this and then created the program Then I am creating this program directly by using create 
इस कलाल की जी आई कमांड डिबक दिस चार सोर्स आई शो यू हाउ इट्स वर्किंग टू दिस प्रोग्राम इन डिबक point to this and we'll call this program action str1 having this done last and then str2 is having name now we can see that ds1 is having data now will be earlier this uh, ptr1 is having no address that is null address now it will contain the address See, this is the address. So we'll check what is the value stored here. Last name. Now we'll we'll be passing this address to this program. Shift F10. Then we can see that input PTR is having the same address. Now we'll see the value. Yeah, that the same value. Again, PTR one is having Null address after this line execution will be having data address store in this one. And this address is having this data. So that's correct. Now PTR one we can see that PTR one data is based on PTR one. So PTR one data is we having last and name. Right. Now we'll concatenate these two strings. Prepare a string last name. Display last name and last name. It will this program will end. So this is uh, the program uh, which shows that how we can pass a data structure as a pointer to a particular to another program. So or uh, we can take a data structure pointer as an input to a program now uh, there is another example as well in which we can see that we have taken um, input which is based on now we are not taking directly uh, input as a pointer we are taking that ds as an input so this was not a question actually the first example that I have shown, uh, PTRDS PGM2 was a question by one of my viewer uh, who is watching my channel and my video. So, but I am showing this one as well that how we can do this by passing a data structure which is based on a pointer actually. So we are not passing the pointer actually here. We are passing a data structure which is based on the pointer. So this is the another scenario. Uh, which will be helpful to know so we are passing this ptr1 uh, input we are in taking input input ds ptr which is based which is like ptr1 data so this is a ds actually we are taking an input a ds which is based on ptr1 ptr1 data and ptr1 data is based on this variable which is like ptr1 data and ptr1 data is based on this pointer ptr1 taking this again this is string prepare string here so what we are doing uh, we are getting input ds pointer as an input so we are getting the ds as an input we are passing the address of this input ds ptr to ptr1 then we know that uh, ptr1 this ptr1 data is based on ptr1 so ptr1 data will be having data now and we'll do the concatenation again and we'll display the results. So see, this is the calling program for this. So we have declared the prototype here. Then again, we are declaring the DS here. So we have evaluated the subfields of the DS and then passing 
that ds etr1 beta we are not parting, uh, passing the address here because we are passing the uh, taking input as a ds not the pointer so this is another scenario which is based on so ds is based on pointer so let's you know again we will create the module for this program create the program here program has been created we will create the calling program here now I will take this and debug Point and then we'll call the program call it pg. We have evaluated the sub fields now. This data structure is having data first and name in their sub fields. Now take shift up 10. You can see that we are having the data here. So we are passing the address of this to PTR1. Only PTR1 will be having null address. So stored after execution of this line, it will be having address of this. You can see the value here. Till 15 position since we have the first name. So now PTR1 is uh, based on this data structure. This data structure is based on that PTR1. So now this data such is having data. Oh, uh, we forget to uh, declare this as a standalone variable, so it is part of this. So it was taking. That's why it was taking uh, that particular. You can see. these extra question marks so what we'll do we'll come out of this we'll do and debug for this we'll take it this as a standalone variable we'll save it and again create the module Then the program. Then create this program. Call in PGM. Do this in debug. I come to the same point where we left. So here we can see that now this will have the correct data. Now PTR1 is the correct data as well. So we need to give the length as well see that now PTI1 data is having the correct data this thing will be having first thing because we have a com concatenated these two stuff so this these are the, the examples of how we can pass a 
pointer as a data structure and we can pass a data structure to a particular program as an input parameter so which is based on a pointer actually so these are all for today um, thanks for watching my video